Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I am going to show you how to quickly remove hyperlinks in Excel. Now the problem with hyperlinks is that if I have a cell that has a hyperlink and if I want to select the cell there is a good possibility that I may end up clicking that hyperlink and when I do that it will open a browser window and open that link and that may waste my time. Also, if I want to edit the content of the cell and I want to double click on it, I may end up clicking the hyperlink. So these are small things that may lead to frustration. So it's a good idea to remove these hyperlinks if you don't need these. Also, there is one problem with Excel, which is that if I type something that looks like a URL or an email address or a file location, then Excel would automatically convert that into a, a hyperlink. So in this case, let's say if I type the URL of my website, which is HTTPS Trump Excel, and I hit enter, see what happens. Okay, I forgot to enter a forward slash. See what happens? It will convert this into a hyperlink. Similarly, if I type my email address here and hit enter, it will convert this into a hyperlink. So if I am doing data entry, these things may annoy me a little. So what I want to do is I want to remove all these hyperlinks and I'm also going to show you a technique on how to disable the functionality where Excel automatically converts data into hyperlinks. So the first thing what you can do is the first technique is select the entire data set where you have the hyperlinks. If you want to remove hyperlinks from the entire worksheet, then you can click here and select the entire worksheet. And now you simply right click and go to remove hyperlinks. And as soon as you do this, all the hyperlinks are removed. This is a very fast method, only takes you two clicks. But if you want to further optimize it and it's something that you need to do quite often, then you can also use a simple VBA code. And what you can do is then you can add the macro in the quick access toolbar. So instead of two clicks, you can then do it with a single click. So let me quickly show you the VBA code that would do this. Let me first convert these into hyperlinks quickly. Now, to create that VBA code, I would go to the developer tab and here click on Visual Basic. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Alt F11. When I click on it, it opens the VB editor. And here I have the, the workbook, which is book1.xlsm in my case. I would right click on any of these objects, go to insert module. And within module, I would have to write the code. And it's a very simple one line code. Let me call this subroutine as remove all hyperlinks and the code here would be active sheet dot hyperlinks dot delete and this single line of code would delete all the hyperlinks in this entire workbook in uh, sorry worksheet so if i click here and i run this code see what happens all these hyperlinks are gone if you only want to remove it from a selection so for example i've selected the data set and I only want to remove hyperlinks from that selection, then instead of active sheet, you can use selection. Let's keep it as active sheet here. Now this macro is created. What I can do is I can add this macro to the quick access toolbar so that the next time I have the hyperlinks, I only need to click there. So to do that, I would come here and customize quick access toolbar drop down, go to more commands. In this Excel options dialog box, I would click on this drop down and select macros. And here I would select the macro which I want to add to the quick access toolbar. In my case, it's remove all, all hyperlinks. And I, I would add it and click OK. And see what happens? This is added here. So now if I come here and I have these hyperlinks, see what happens? I'm anywhere in the worksheet, but if I come here and click on this, all the hyperlinks are instantly removed. So you can use either the two click method, which is right click and go to remove hyperlinks, or you can add this to the quick access toolbar. Also, if you need this macro for uh, a lot of your workbooks, it's a good idea to add this macro to your personal macro workbook and then add it to the QAT, QAT so that it will be available in all your workbooks. Now, let me show you how to disable this functionality where as soon as I uh, enter a URL, something that looks like a URL or an email address or a file location, it gets automatically converted into a hyperlink. So let's see how to disable this. To do that, I would go to file and here I have the options and within Excel options, I would select proofing and when proofing, I have autocorrect options. Click on the autocorrect options button and here I have this tab which says auto format as you type. 
If this is not selected, select this tab and uncheck this option which says internet and network paths with hyperlinks. And this is what actually converts these, these data entry into hyperlinks because anything that looks like an internet or a network path is replaced with the hyperlink. So if you uncheck this option and click OK, See what happens now if I come here and I hit enter, these will not be converted into hyperlinks. So you can disable this. Just remember that this setting is applied for the entire Excel applications. This means that this would be applicable for any workbook that you work on from now on. So if you want to enable it, you can go back and enable this setting. Also remember that if you are using a VBA code, then you need to save the workbook with the extension .xls or .xlsm. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.